Member for Courtney Comox. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. I have frontal fibrosing alopecia. It's known as FFA. It's a relatively new form of balding that was first identified about 30 years ago, and the numbers have been growing. Its cause isn't known yet. Fibrosing meaning, means scarring, and therefore it's permanent hair loss. There are many types of alopecia, including the prevalent male androgenetic alopecia, male pattern baldness. For men, hair loss is the norm, not so for women. And everyone's journey to deal with it is unique. I was on a ferry recently, and a woman approached me and asked if I was undergoing chemotherapy, which she followed up immediately with her own journey with cancer. I explained that I am just bald. I was not facing the pain of chemotherapy or the fear of facing my own mortality, and it wasn't the first time or the last that I'll ever have this conversation. In fact, I had one today with um, Michelle de Tomaso at the Cancer Survivor uh, Luncheon. I thank her and every one of those women who bravely and compassionately initiate these conversations. I recognize that they do so to hold me up. I never anticipated such kindness. When I took off my scarves and wigs, I was shedding my fear of exposure and the emotional pain of loss. I felt incredibly liberated and happily empowered to hold other, up other women and youth by showing them that they're not alone and we're okay. I've been approached by women who share their own FFA stories. It's my hope that by showing myself as I am, I'm helping others feel empowered too. I've been surprised by how many people with other differences manifested physically see themselves in my journey. We tell kids that sharing is caring, and it's true. Parents tell their children not to stare. It's impolite. I know I look different, but helping others recognize our common humanity is what I do simply by showing my alopecia. We are all okay. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.